Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tuesday Craft Day. Well, today we're going to be working on a birthday card. Uh, my sister Janet's birthday is next, let's see, mine is Sunday at the 30th, 31, uh, Wednesday, next Wednesday, June 2nd, I guess. I think that's close enough. <laughs> So, and she lives in Maine, so I need to get it made and get it in the mail so that she'll have it in time for her birthday. Uh, but before we get busy with the birthday card, I just wanted to do a little chat here for a second and uh, just explain a little something that's going on. Nothing spectacular, nothing bad, just fine. But uh, yesterday I had my dermatology report. Now I had not had a skin check in years, okay? But I had a full skin check and needed no zaps. She actually said my skin was very good. Now that is um, surprisingly so because as a child I was a white blonde and very fair and burned a lot just out playing. But um, Anyway, aside from having what's called the brown bumpy syndrome, which you see here, which is basically a very a benign uh, thing, it, it's called seborrheic um, ketosis, seborrheic something, I think that's it. No, seborrheic keratosis. <laughs> it is... It is a benign thing and uh, usually has some history, family history. Um, but there were some precancerous areas uh, on my forehead and nose that don't show up to the naked eye. Um, and so she's having me treat those with a cream that is a chemotherapy cream. Now, that doesn't, that, it's just that it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I was going to kind of take some time off and, and let this uh, do its thing. But then I thought, you know, other people may go through the same thing. And I wanted to show you that it's probably not as bad as you think it will be, or maybe it is, but it's a temporary situation. So I thought I'd just share the journey with you. Now, if it should become too terribly inflamed um, or very sore or something like that, that it's difficult for me to work, then uh, I may take a couple of days off or you may not see me on camera. But in the meantime, I've only had one treatment. I do it at night, nightly for one week on, one week off, and then again for another week on, and that's all. And I've only had one treatment, and don't know whether you can see, but you might be able to see a little redness on the bridge of my nose. Uh, I don't really see a lot on my forehead yet, but that is to be expected. It doesn't happen overnight. So I'm going to continue doing my thing and share it with you. And if it gets too bad, we'll have to make some other arrangements. But in the meantime, that's all I wanted to talk about. Other than that, everything was Wonderful. Um, I'm going to take you down to the table now, and we're going to work on a diamond fold flip card. It's kind of cute. I saw Mary over at Cards TV make one of these, and I thought that looks like a really kind of cute card to make for my sister. And so that's what I'm going to do today. It's it's more cutting than anything else because it's lots of little pieces but it's not too difficult and I think if you had some pretty paper Mary had some beautiful floral paper I couldn't find any I have thousands of sheets of paper and not one that I liked for floral 
but I found something else. So anyway, let's go down to the desk and make this card for uh, Janet's birthday. Back in a second. Okay, here we are down at the desk, and I'm going to be using a cutter, ruler, my bone folder, a pencil, some scissors, and my scoreboard, which I still have underneath here. So let's get started. This is the paper I found I thought was really cute. And you can see it has like ice cream sundaes and cupcakes and cups and things on it. That plus the base, which will be of this blue. I think that'll make a cute card. And this is a textured cardstock. You can feel it. It's rough. Okay, we're going to start with a piece of plain white cardstock. And I'm going to put it in my cutter and we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. And that basically, this is an eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half by eleven, and I'm putting it in the eight and a half up at the top. And I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. And what that does is basically cut this in half. Okay? So you have paper there to make two cards. Now I'm going to take my scoreboard and we'll put one aside for now. And on the scoreboard I have the 11 inch at the top. And, this is, and I'm going to score at two and a quarter an eighth. Two and one eighth. I'm going to do it a couple of times. And five and a half. Five and a half. All right. And that's all the scoring that we need. Okay, so now I have this five and a half actually folds the card in half, and this is going to be the flip or the diamond shape. So I'm going to take this card and I'm just going to put it so that this two and one eighth line is at the top. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure halfway across this, which is two and one eighth because it's four and a quarter if you remember and I'm going to put just a little tick mark at the two and one eighth okay now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go from that tick mark down to the score line I made so we're going to take the ruler go right to that score line and I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to do the same in the other direction right from the tick mark down to the score line and draw a line Can you see the lines here? All right, so now I'm going to fold my card in half. And I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to just get that as straight as I can. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut just inside this line I made. Now I'm going through two, two layers here. Okay? Just inside the line. 
basically so the line doesn't show. And there you have a house. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one that we scored and I'm going to fold it back on the score line and give it a nice burnishing. And that's the base of the card, you see, and it will open like this. Okay? But you see, when it's closed, it makes a full triangle. So now we have to cut the pieces to decorate it. I'm going to start with the blue, and I'm going to cut three three pieces that are four and one eighth by three and one quarter. And I'll put the measurements down at the bottom. Four and one eighth. Because the card is four and a quarter, I'm going to make them an eighth of an inch shorter. Four and one eighth. by three and one quarter. Three and one quarter. And I need three of them. Three and one quarter. And three and one quarter. Now I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to cut this at three and one eighth by four. Another eighth of an inch shorter. So I'll make it four first. one because I will have a sentiment. Two, three, and one eighth. All right, let's see how those go. We'll start with the blue, and the blue is going to go here. And then the pattern paper is going to go on top of the blue, like that. Okay, then the same thing is going to happen in here a blue and a pattern paper, and then over here another blue. And I'm not going to put a pattern paper here because I'm going to put a sentiment in here. So let's get those attached down and we'll get on to the next section. I was going to attach them off camera, but I'll let you see what I'm doing. I'm using art glitter glue. 
I like it very much. And this paper does have a pattern on it, but the pattern kind of goes in all directions, so it's really okay. There's the outside. And this pattern piece. And one more blue. go. Alright, so now we have to work on these little diamond shapes. So I'm going to take a two and seven eighths inch square. Let me get my cutter out again. I have two and seven eighths. That's three and seven eighths. I thought it looked a little large. There we go. Two and seven eighths. And two and seven eighths the other direction also. Two and seven eighths. And we'll do two of them. Two and seven eighths. And then with my pattern paper, I'm going to do two and three quarter inch. And I don't know if this one is big enough or not. Let's see. Nope. This one is. So I can do this one at two and three quarter, which is one eighth of an inch smaller than the two and seven eighths. And I'm going to need another little strip. Two and three quarters. And I'm going to tricky to cut this paper because um, it's heavy and it tends to want to move. So, All right, now let's see what we've got here. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut them right in half. I'm going to put my point and my point on my board, my cutting, right in the track, okay? Put this 
this one and this one. And this one I'm going to leave whole. I'm trying to think what I'm doing here. Okay, so this one I'm going to put on here like so. Okay, but I'm only going to put glue on this pet part of it. Otherwise it would glue the card shut by hitting this other part. But see, when it's closed, that covers both triangles. Or both diamond folds. Like that. So let's get that one glued down. So what I'll do is I'll put the glue on the card and not on the piece of paper. I try not to let it ooze out because it'll glue the card shut. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get that on there. I don't like the way that one looks. Let's try it this way. There we go. And This one will go on top of it. And let's make it go like that. Now this one, of course, is glued all the way down because it's just glued to this blue piece. up and I'm going to put one of these half triangles right over here it seems a little bit long I can trim it Let's see if the other one is the same a lot of pieces of paper to cut. Oh, I think that'll be all right. So let's put some glue on here. this one in half and put half there oh see it moved I may have to cut it again we'll see don't know if I saved that or not let's see Okay, that'll work. And I'll put the other one over here.
So there you go. There's the fold is like this when it's closed. And then it opens like so. And we're going to put a sentiment over there. And we're going to put a sentiment in here. So let me get my cuddle bug out and I'll show you how I'm going to do the sentiment. Back in a second. Okay, this is the cuddle bug. I thought I was recording when I cut out that uh, the words, but I was not. But I will show you what I did, even though I won't have words on it. I have a cuddle bug here. I have, when you put the sides down in the cuddle bug, it sticks it to the desk pretty well. Okay, so that I can turn my handle. Then I put in an A plate and a B plate. And I used, I generated the words on the computer, and then I'm using one of these ovals, and I just put that down over the words. Okay. Take the C plate, put it on top, and then roll it through. It's a die cutting machine, and these are the dies. And you see, it cuts out a pretty oval. Now here's the one that I did that I thought I was recording and you can see the words are on it already. Uh, warmest wishes for the best birthday ever. Okay, that's going to go inside the card. Now for the outside of the card, I stamped the happy birthday. And I'm going to put the A plate and the B plate. And I'm hoping I can get it in here. And I think I just can. This is a little, a little oval. And we get the C plate down on top of it. And feed it through. And I have a little oval. It says happy birthday. But what I'm going to do with that one is take one oval bigger, one more time, A plate, B plate, and I have one oval bigger, and I'm going to use the blue paper. And we'll make a little border for it. So I'm just going to cut that. And there's my blue. Okay. All right. So let's put this away. And when you release it, it has a handle. It's quite a heavy piece of machinery. got our oval for the inside. Isn't that pretty? Close this like this. We get these two attached. And the happy 
happy birthday. We'll go right here. And then I have a cute little pink flower that does have some glue on it. But I'm going to just glue half of it. Okay. And I'm going to glue it right in here. Isn't that pretty? It's really quite precious, I think. And you just pick up this, open it up, and it still shows the happy birthday and the warmest wishes. And then you can flip it back. And this is, with its clothes like this, an A2 size card. It fits in an A2 size envelope, which is your standard card envelope. So there you go. It's called a flip diamond card. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I will put the measurements down below so that if you'd like to try it, it's, it's not difficult. It just has a lot of cutting to it for a bit. And let me see, um, I don't have an A2 size envelope out here right at the moment. Oh, yes, I do. In my card book. So this will fit inside. For mailing. And there you go. Happy birthday, Janet. Hope you enjoy it. All right, let me just bring you up for a second. A parting remark. <laughs> so there you go. Um, let's see. Yeah, you have half a head. My glasses. And my red nose. And there I am. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I know not everybody that's on my channel is into cards, but I do have some who really like it. And uh, so I like to do them occasionally. I love doing pick cards. I did paper crafts for years, as I said. And I think it's fun to make a homemade card, especially where we haven't been able to see each other for quite a while. And I haven't seen my sister in quite a while. She lives in Maine, so it's not a place I run to from Florida on a regular basis. But anyway, um, I'll be back Friday, and we'll be doing something um, Friday, I'm not sure yet, what? <laughs> and then we will move onwards and upwards. Now, Friday I will have had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four treatments on my face, and we'll see if it's done anything, or maybe I'll just be the same pretty person I always am. <laughs> so, anyway, and anyhow, of course I can't wear makeup, so... That's why you'll see the red blotchies. Hopefully it's not too terribly bad because Sunday, as I mentioned earlier, is my birthday. And I wanted to go out to, to uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, actually, for a nice piece of steak. So, until I see you again, I want you all to play by the rules. Wear your mask if appropriate. Get your vaccinations. And everybody, play nice now. I'll see you Friday. Love you. Bye-bye.